What is going on guys? We are back on our episode of DC Bronzies. So good to have you guys back on the channel. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. I got a ton of walleye content coming your way this spring because the walleyes are just starting to heat up. I am in De Pere on the Fox River today. Just had a nice fish that you guys are gonna see here in a little, just a little bit. Brad and I have been here the last, this is our third day out. We've been here the last three days straight trying to figure these fish out and we've got them figured out. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to catch these fish, what we're using and what we're doing. So stay tuned to see us catch some nice walleyes. We're walking down into the water. Got the gold ripping wrap size six tied on. We got boats all over in the channel today. Not as windy as it was yesterday. We'll see what goes on. Well guys, we had success here yesterday. Kind of fishing off the shore. We had, we saw some guys in a boat. They were uh, fishing along here in the shallow water and uh, they were casting ripping rafts. So we started doing that and I don't know, I think I had two fish, Brad had one um, by the time we started fishing them. So not too bad. Two 20 inch females and then his was an 18. I don't know if it was a male or a female. But we're just bombing them out there as far as we can. We're wading in pretty far, and then we're just bombing them way out there. I think the wind's in our face. Big, big. It's recording. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. It's a nice one. guys first wall of the day way out there that's the key getting your, your ripping wrap or whatever you're doing way out there it hasn't come up yet oh yeah oh yeah she's a nice one she's a nice one that's a 20 22 it's a 22 23 let's go baby let's go Let's go. Got her? Let's go. All right, how long is she? 21. 21? Oh, I was close, I thought 22. Let's go, baby. Give me the fist bump. <laughs> Let's go. Nice fish. All right, I'm gonna hold her. It's a little slime time. No problem. All right, guys. First fish of the day. A nice 21 incher. She goes, baby. First to pure walleye. Let's go. Yeah. I bonded out as far as oh, oh. I bonded out. Just, just missed one. Just missed one. I just bonded out as far as I could. Just missed another guys. Alright guys. We we're figuring out. Brad just Brad just missed one. We're bombing him out there just so far out. These boats ain't even catching fish. But we are just starting to light up. We're getting bites. I've had Two bites and a fish. Brad's had okay, one or you had two bites, yeah. Way out there. It's always like the third or fourth rip too. One rip. Take a couple more. Brad's pulling her in. That's the biggest one. Oh, this is a nice fish. Another 20, 21 probably. Oh, baby, tricking down on the ripping rack, size six. That one's chartreuse, mine is gold. All right. Got her, you need players. Uh, yeah, I two. Let's see how long she is. Another 21. Uh, a half? No, 21. 21. 21. Nice fish. Hold her up. We'll take that, baby. That's a nice one. All right, we're going to get a picture real quick. Third rip for Brad, too. Let's go. Gonna let this nice 
female go. So she can go in. Oh, okay. Wrong way, buddy. There she goes. Let's go, baby. baby. All right, guys. So what we're doing is basically we're fishing ripping rafts. If you guys don't know what they are, it's a Rapala brand. It's like a lipless crankbait. What we're doing is we're just ripping them. I'll show you what Brad's doing here in a sec. But I'm using a size six. I'll show you. Using a size six ripping wrap in a gold color. Got a little snap swivel there, or not a swivel, just a snap. Um, along with 12 pound fluorocarbon to a 15 or uh, excuse me, 10 pound braid. And uh, we're just rocking that seven foot medium uh, fast action setup. So that's what we're doing today using ripping wraps. Color doesn't seem to matter. Brad's using a chartreuse. Um, I'll show you in a sec what he's doing. You snagged up? Yeah. I'll get it, one sec. All right, I gotta go get us. I gotta go Brad on the snag real quick. So like I said, we're going out as far as we can wade, kind of up to our chest. We're chucking out as far as we possibly can. We're trying to get that flat, that deeper flat, right outside of the channel. That's where the fish are sitting, we're finding them. We're throwing it out there, we're doing one rip. One rip has been working well. Try your different cadences, cadences matter. You never know what's gonna work, but one rip's been working for us. So, if you're doing one rip, we're letting it go to the bottom. We're giving it between one and four seconds between we do our, excuse me, one and four seconds between our next rip. So, we're ripping it, giving it a couple seconds, let it hit bottom, and usually the walleyes will hit it on the fall. So the next rip, you're gonna feel weight and you're gonna have to set the hook then. That's when the fish is gonna be there, usually. Sometimes they'll hit, you'll feel it hit on the fall, but usually you can't feel it because your line's slack. So I mean, try to keep your line tight, but it's not a big deal if you don't. You can fish this when it's windy because you don't need to feel everything. It's just critical when you're going to rip up next, make sure your line's tight. So on your next rip, rip up, that's usually when you have your fish. And we're finding that when we cast it way out here from shore, we're getting it on like our third or fourth rip the fish are hitting. So that's what's working for us. Um, we're gonna keep fishing and I'll show you the technique in a little bit once Brad gets his rip and wrap on the snag. Guys, we're hooked up. Size five rip and wrap and perch this time. It's a good one. It feels better, Brad. Brad's gonna come over. It feels like a better fish. This is a better fish. Brad, this is a good one. This is a good one, dude. I'm gonna pull her in. Huh? Average? Fighting good. Always not. Here, hold up. Oh, 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 baby, that's a 23. That per tripping wrap right there. Right, let's go. Let's go. We're getting a picture of that dog. Hold on, hold on. Huh? What? Go eat the fire tiger. Yeah, eat them fire tigers. There she goes. Back to her home. Brad just got hooked up with a smaller one. Looks like a male to me. What do we got? Let's see the color. Rocking a size six fire tiger. Juicy baby. Good stuff. It's been a while. Old Brad's hooked up on another. Is she gonna be good? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a long one. That's a nice one. I'm a fire tiger, you know. Oh yeah. That's They're just tapping one. them right in the corner of the mouth here and get it off. We're gonna measure me on this baby. All right, guys, we're starting up. Starting to Wait, pop off. Huh? Really? No, I, I'm pretty sure I hooked up right as you hooked up. I felt something and it wasn't a rock. 
I think I had a fish too. We could have doubled up, but I was screwing around. All right, but uh, we're gonna get a measurement on this baby. So they're they're starting to go. So Brad has three. I've got two. Brad actually snagged a white fish earlier too, but uh, I think I should have had one. I don't know. That one's probably gonna be about 21 again. Twenty, almost. Yeah, twenty. Good thank you. Picture. All right, guys, that is gonna be all for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Had a couple tips and tricks there for you guys on how to catch these De Pere Fox River walleyes from shore. Um, if you got any questions? Leave them down below. Um, if you want to subscribe, feel free. I really appreciate it. We're on that road to 1K. Had a great day out here. Ended up with five walleyes. Brad also had one white fish. But uh, I mean, it was a good time. We were hoping to get a couple more, and it seemed like when we got here, it heated up right away. But you know, that's what happens as fishing. But we had a great time. Best night out here so far. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next episode of DC Bronzies. See ya.